My name is Alex Pereira. I am originally from Brazil. My training is in industrial engineering and I'm also a Rotman MBA grad. And I am a two-time champion of the EMI Big Data Challenge. And uh, for the past eight years, I have been working in the data science and engineering fields for financial institutions, both in Brazil and in Canada. The EMI Big Data and Artificial Intelligence Case Competition is a data event that has two main parts to it. The first one is the competition itself, in which students form groups of three to five people, in which they use advanced analytics tools and techniques to solve a real business problem for the sponsor of the event. And the second part is the workshop series, which has the main objective to help students with the basic tooling and skills necessary to solve the problem. Okay, I chose to join the EMI Big Data Challenge for a couple of reasons. The first one was to actually get the chance to practice my data and analytics skills in a very safe and real world-like uh, event. Uh, the second one was, you know, we have a very nice monetary prize, which is always a good boost for that. And the third one was, you know, to get new, to know new people, work with people from all from different programs, from different parts of the world, so I could learn from them as well. Well, the experience in the competition was very valuable for me because it gave me the opportunity to work in a real-life event for a Canadian company in a very safe environment and use a lot of my classroom learning and all my prior experiences to solve those problems and also present to a panel of experts in, in this field and get real-time feedback from them so I could improve myself and I actually helped me a lot when I was doing my job search because that type of questions that we receive it's very real life like. So the Amy Big Data Challenge was in fact my best learning experience at UFT and the reason for that was because I had the chance to work on my technical skills and apply all that classroom knowledge to a real business problem. So what made me the most special was the, the opportunity to explore my creativity and try out of the box solutions which is not something that you can always apply in the corporate setting not even in the classroom and the academic setting, so you really have a lot of flexibility to do that. I think my most memorable moment was a couple of minutes before the final presentation because I was like very nervous. I had, a, I mean, devoted so much time and energy into that, and I was just getting very psyched up. But at the same time, I was feeling very confident and very proud of my my work, of my teammates that helped me throughout this journey. So I think that was just, uh, uh, I don't know, a tornado of emotions there. But at the end, after we did our presentation, it was such a relief and a sensation of ownership and how proud I felt. And then I was also so relieved and glad that I took part in the challenge. When I found out that I won, I felt very happy and also a little bit, you know, surprised because the competition was very hard. It was nice to see that among such great uh, competitors, so many great works that had been submitted to the judges, we actually managed to win. So that was a very good feeling. As a winner, you receive a, a chunk of the $25,000 uh, prize. Also, you will have a sponsorship fee for you to publish your findings in a, in a journal. And also you receive a certificate saying that you won the case competition, which I think it's a very nice touch. So my advice for students that are thinking about investing for their workshops is just do it. You have no hard commitment and you get a, you have the chance to learn and learn a lot from those workshops. So you should just do it.